Now let's work out a question on a system of Polaroids. Two Polaroids A and B are set in crossed positions. A third Polaroid C is placed between the two making an angle theta with the pass axis of first Polaroid. Write the expression for the intensity of the light transmitted from the second Polaroid. On what orientations will the transmitted intensity be minimum and maximum? Now let's consider the two mentioned Polaroids A and B first. This is A and this is the second Polaroid B. This is A and this is B. Now these two are placed crossed with respect to each other which means their pass axis are perpendicular to each other. Now there is a third Polaroid C placed in between them such that it makes an angle theta with the first one. Let me show what a C is. So this is the third Polaroid C which is placed such that its pass axis makes an angle theta with the first Polaroid. So the angle between A and C is theta. Angle between A and B is 90 degree. So what should be the angle between B and C? It should be 90 minus theta. So the angle between the pass axis of C and B is 90 minus theta. So if this is the case, we are supposed to find out the intensity of the light coming out of the second Polaroid. Here second Polaroid corresponds to the Polaroid B which is the third Polaroid in the diagram which is the last Polaroid. Let me say that the intensity of the incident light on the first Polaroid as I0 and the intensity of the emergent light which comes out of B as some I3 because the intensity of the light which is emerging out of A, let me call it as I1 and the light between C and B, let it be I2 and finally light emerging out of B is called as I3. Now let me write down the expression for intensity using Malus law. Let me make use of that Malus law uh, for the light coming out of C first. So that is my I2. I2 is the intensity of the emergent light coming from C. Of course it depends on I1 into cos square theta. It is I1 cos square theta is your I2. Now I1 is nothing but half of I0 that is it can be written as I0 by 2 into cos square theta as it is. This is I2. You can go to I3 now again using Malus law. I3 is given by I2 cos square. What is angle between B and C? It is 90 minus theta. Therefore, I2 cos square 90 minus theta. So, what is I2? I2 is as already explained I0 by 2 into cos square theta. Now, let's work out a question on a system of Polaroids. Two Polaroids A and B are set in crossed positions. A third Polaroid C is placed between the two making an angle theta with the pass axis of first Polaroid. Write the expression for the intensity of the light transmitted from the second Polaroid. Now let's work out a question on a system of Polaroids. Two Polaroids A and B are set in crossed positions. Now let's work out a question on system of Polaroids. Two Polaroids inside the bracket. There is a there is a 2 in the denominator which I'll write later and look at the term inside the bracket. It is 2 sin theta into cos theta whole square. That is 2 sin theta into cos theta is sin 2 theta. Sin 2 theta square can be written as sin square 2 theta. And in the denominator there is 2 square which is 4 and there is one more 2 in the denominator. So in denominator there is 8. So this is the required expression for the emergent intensity which I'll write once again. So the emergent intensity is given by I3 is equal to I0 by 8 into sin square 2 theta. This is the required expression. 
but now there are two questions asked for which orientations do you get maximum emergent intensity and minimum emergent intensity so let me take the minimum case first for the minimum emergent intensity or in other words for i3 to be minimum minimum intensity is obtained when sin square theta becomes minimum so for minimum your sin square 2 theta should be minimum and minimum value of sin square 2 theta is 0 when sin square 2 theta is 0 automatically sin 2 theta is 0 which means 2 theta is 0 or simply theta is 0 degree what does that mean which means the angle between A and C should be 0 or the pass axis of these two polaroids A and C should be parallel to each other. Now let's go to the maximum case, case 2, maximum. The emergent intensity I3 will be maximum when sin square 2 theta takes its maximum value. That is sin square of 2 theta should be maximum and the maximum value of sin square 2 theta is 1. So sin, sin of 2 theta should be equal to 1 which means 2 theta should be equal to 90 degree or pi by 2 therefore theta should be equal to 45 degree so when theta is 45 degree that is the angle between a and c is 45 degree then the emergent intensity i3 will be maximum which means the third polaroid which is c should bisect the angle between a and b that is the result now this is a question on polaroids Two polaroids are placed at 90 degree to each other. Find the intensity of emergent light when one more polaroid is placed between these two, bisecting the angle between them. So let's consider the two polaroids first. Yeah, these two are the polaroids which are placed in such a way that the angle between them is 90 degree the pass axis between them are mutually perpendicular to each other now there is a third polaroid kept in between them in such a way that it bisects the angle between these two so let me consider the third polaroid which bisects which means it makes an angle 45 degree with the first polaroid and 45 with the second polaroid as well now if this is the principal axis i'll say a b and c are the three polaroids the angle between a and b is 45 degree and angle between b and c is 45 degree as well because a and c are crossed with respect to each other or in other words the angle between a and c is given to be 90 degree okay now let's calculate what is the intensity of the emergent light let me give symbols for those intensities intensity of the incident light is i naught and intensity after passing through a let it be i1 after passing through b is i2 and finally emergent light is given by the intensity i3 I suggest students to follow these symbols so that it will be easier for you to remember the expressions as well as to proceed with the problem. Now we are supposed to find out I3. So I3 there is a question mark. Let me directly write an expression for I3 making use of Malus law. Let me write it as Malus law which says that your I3 depends on I2 and cos square theta so it is i2 into cos square theta which is theta 2 which is 45 degree in this case so let me write it as 45 degree directly so i2 now can be expressed in terms of i1 therefore i3 is written as i2 can be expressed in terms of i1 so i2 is i1 cos square angle between a and b is again it is 45 so So this part is I2 and into cos square 45 as it is. So further I1 
as you all know must be equal to i not by 2 irrespective of the orientation of the first polaroid i1 is always equal to i not by 2 so finally the expression for i3 turns out to be i not by 2 into cos square 45 into cos square 45 so on simplification this is i not by 2 into cos 45 is 1 by root 2 whole square of which is half 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 so this in turn becomes i naught divided by 8 this is the expression for i3 that is the intensity of emergent light students can also make use of uh, an expression which is uh, readily usable that is when there are uh, three polaroids you can make use of this expression for i3 which is given by i naught divided by 2 into cos square theta whole square this is what we have followed in this problem when there are four polaroids you can write an expression for the emergent light intensity which is given by i4 which comes out of the fourth and last polaroid which is i4 given by i naught by 2 as it is into cos square theta whole cube see for three polaroids it is i naught by 2 into cos square theta whole squared for four polaroids it is i naught by 2 into cos square theta whole power 3 similarly for n number of polaroids for n number of polaroids you can note this point it uh, it can be written as i n which is the intensity of light coming out of the last polaroid is always given by i naught divided by 2 into cos square theta whole power n minus 1 where n denotes the number of polaroids you can apply the same formula even for there when when there is when there are only two polaroids when there are two polaroids your n is equal to 2 therefore let me write the expression for two polaroids you can write it as i2 which is equal to i naught by 2 into cos square theta that's all because power 2 minus 1 is simply cos square theta so by making use of this expression you can solve any question on a system of any number of polaroids three identical polaroid sheets p1 p2 and p3 are oriented so that the transmission axis of p2 and p3 are inclined at 60 degree and 90 degree respectively with the transmission axis of p1 a monochromatic light of intensity i naught is incident on polaroid p1 find the intensity of light emerging from p3 yeah let's write down the system of three polaroids first p1 p2 and p3 with principal axis let the intensity of uh, incident light be i naught let me name these three polaroids as p1 p2 and p3 respectively the intensity of light emerging out of p1 is uh, i1 and that of p2 is i2 and p3 is i3 and the data says that the axis of p2 is inclined at an angle 60 degree with p1 so the angle between p1 and uh, p2 is 60 degree and it's also mentioned that p3 is inclined at an angle 90 degree with p1 that's important so p3 is inclined at an angle 90 degree with p1 which means p3 should make an angle of 30 degree with p2 so the angle between p2 and p3 is 30 degree which is 90 minus 60 now by making use of uh, these data we are supposed to find out the expression for your i3 question mark let me straight away start with the expression for i3 making use of malice law i3 is given by i2 cos square theta i3 depends on i2 as well as cos square theta so which theta are we talking about it is the second theta which is 30 degree so 
let me call 60 degree as theta 1 and 30 degree as theta 2. This is my theta 1 and this is theta 2. Let me write down those uh, values later. Before that, let me write down the data as first. Theta 1 is 60 degree and theta 2 is 30 degree. I2 depends on I1 and theta 1. So, let me write I2 in terms of I1. It is I1 cos square theta 1. This is your I2 into cos square theta 2, which is as it is. So, I1 further can be written in terms of I0 which is always I0 by 2 irrespective of the position and orientation of the first polaroid P1. So finally I3 comes out to be I0 by 2 into cos square theta 1 which is cos square 60 into cos square theta 2 is cos square 30 degree. So let me substitute the values I0 by 2 into cos 60 is 1 by 2 square of which is 1 by 4 into cos 30 is root 3 by 2 the square of which becomes 3 by 4. So this is nothing but 3 I naught in numerator and denominator I have 32. So this is the expression for the emergent intensity I3 which is equal to 3 I naught divided by 32.